do these terms say? We get it, guys! We get it! You've been selected. Been selected. Let's discuss. What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name's Shiraz here on Thumbs Up Run, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today, we're talking all about Ticketmaster Verified Fan pre-sales and how it works once you've gone past the initial application phase. If you have not yet applied for a Ticketmaster Verified Fan pre-sale, you don't know what I'm talking about, you have no idea what's going on, go up over here, take a look at that video. It talks about everything and anything you need to know about how the actual Ticketmaster Verified Fan Pre-sale works. That is a mouthful. I do not understand why they made it so many words. Today though, we need to talk about results. Results from applying to the Ticketmaster Verified Fan Pre-sale. You can either be in one of two camps. You can be waitlisted, which sucks, or you can be verified, which doesn't suck. And as well, once you get into these two different buckets, we're gonna go into the details on what you can actually do to go ahead and buy tickets, whether that's being able to participate in the actual verified fan program or having to deal with another pre-sale or general sale. So strap in, hang on, get your emails ready because we need to find out what's gonna happen if you've been verified or not. Which one are you? First off, we're gonna talk about the bad news. All the bad news all the time. We gotta talk about what happens if you've been waitlisted. So you've gone through all the work, you've applied for the verified fan pre-sale, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock rolls around. You get that email and it says, hey, unfortunately, you're on the wait list. No exclamation mark, no excitement, no nothing. They're just like, eh, eh, nobody cares too much. Basically, what this is saying is that uh, Ticketmaster and their all infinite wisdom has decided that you are not a true fan, and unfortunately you will not be able to participate in the Ticketmaster Verified Fan Presale that is going on the next day. But it does not exclude you from being able to still buy tickets, it just excludes you from that one specific individual presale. What you need to do next is actually go ahead and prepare for the next stage. That means not being able to participate in the Verified Fan Presale, but trying to see if there's any other presales or finding out exactly when the general sale is going to happen. You can do this by jumping on over into Ticketmaster, taking a look and seeing what other on sales and pre-sales are available to you. Sometimes there may only be a general sale left. Other times though, there could be you no know, other smaller pre-sales, you know, fan, artist club pre-sales, venue pre-sales, things like that. Take a look, see if there's any other options available for you. If so, get ready for those, try and find out the codes for those. Otherwise, you gotta go on the general sale, hope for the best, and then try and buy your tickets that way. What I will say not to do though, is do not yet buy your tickets right off of the resale marketplace. You just gotta, you just gotta gather your, your thoughts, gather your, your emotions. It can you, can you, it, it, it's a bit, you know, you can be a bit trigger happy at this point, saying, oh, I've been waitlisted, I gotta go buy tickets now. But not all the tickets have been put on sale yet, not all the supplies out there yet, ticket prices are generally gonna be very, very, very high before the actual pre-sales take place and the general sale takes place. So go ahead, wait it out, just, just, just trust me, just wait a little bit and see if you are able to get tickets on the actual general sale date. Also, 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 just because you put on the wait list does not a 100% mean you are guaranteed nothing in the verified fan pre-sale. I will admit that the chances of you actually getting a code are basically slim to none and maybe even slightly less than that, but on occasion, it, it does happen. With bigger tours and events, I would not expect it whatsoever, but on the odd occasion, you may end up being on the wait list and getting a verified fan pre-sale code pushed to you a couple hours later after the event has already started going on sale if sales are not moving that well. Last thing I wanna mention, if you've been put on the wait list, it does not mean that you have been identified as a bot or a broker. It very well could just be more of a result of there being too many people applying for tickets. You're on the wait list, it's a maybe. More like a, a maybe not, but maybe nonetheless. Doesn't mean you shouldn't apply again though. If there's another tour coming on sale that you wanna go buy tickets for, definitely go ahead, apply for those because you might get a bit luckier the next time you go around. Awesome. Now let's, uh, let's move on over into the, the winner's circle, if we will. You know, those of you who have been what Ticketmaster deems verified. If you've been verified, congratulations. Again, 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 congratulations, you've done it. You are a true fan and Ticketmaster thinks you deserve some tickets. Now there are a few steps I would like to recommend to you before you go ahead and you know get get too excited because you gotta, gotta, gotta prepare, you gotta be ready, you gotta get into the right mental state, you gotta get into the right physical state, you gotta wear everything because you need to make sure that when you go in and buy these tickets, you're ready to go because you don't want to leave anything to chance so you gotta do all you can to prepare to make sure you have the best 
chance as possible to get the best possible tickets. So first off, once you've been verified, wait for your code to come in. Code will come in either that evening or in the morning. It'll have both your pre-sale code as well as the specific URL where you will go ahead to actually buy those tickets. You cannot access the verified fan pre-sale from any other location. Don't just jump onto Ticketmaster, try and join the queue from there. You do need to use the URL that has been texted to you. So again, make sure you have these two pieces of information ready. Don't need them just yet, but have them right there waiting on the side. Also, it's possible that all the excitement, you've forgotten where you've actually applied to get your tickets. But not to worry, Ticketmaster has thought of this for you. Once they actually text you your code, they will also text you the location of where you're gonna be buying your tickets. For whatever reason, if it doesn't even say it in the text message, once you open up the URL that you've been sent, that is also where it's gonna show you the specific city where you're gonna enter that code. Now you've been verified, you got your code, you got your URL, you're basically ready to go. The thing you gotta do is make sure you set an alarm for when the tickets go on sale the next day. I cannot stress this enough how important it is to set that alarm. Yes, it is not required. However, however, I would say that this is probably the most important thing because it's possible that you may get distracted, something may come up, last second, you never know. So having an alarm set about 15 to 20 minutes before the queue actually starts, that's what you gotta do. Get yourself set up, get everything sorted because that way if something does come up, you'll still have that reminder come and buzz you saying, hey, don't forget, you gotta go buy those tickets and it's important you do it right this second. So set that alarm. Next thing you want to do, you want to go ahead and scout out the map a little bit. Take a look at the seating chart, see where you'd like to sit, give yourself a few different options because again, you will be going into a smart queue. If you don't know much about the smart queue, take a look over here. Really, once you get into the queue, you don't know where you're going to be in line. So it's possible it might be right at the front. It's possible it might be right at the end or somewhere in the middle. So depending on where you are in the queue, certain seating options may or may not be available to you. So just keep that in mind. You know, the, the, the best seats in the house, all those things on the floor right in front of the stage, they'll be gone right away. Things in the back, the cheap seats, those ones that everybody really wants to get because they're so cheap and, you know, get into the venue for nothing, those will go first as well. So just, just keep that one in mind. Give yourself a few options. Know who you're going to go with. Know where you kind of want to sit. Get that get that all out of the way because then once you go in, you never know where you're going to be seeing those blue dots. So just, just let yourself, you know, keep an open mind. Understand, you know, there are a few different options in the venue. Don't just tell yourself you're only going to sit in one spot only because it's possible that spot that you're waiting on it won't be there anymore. Now, with all of these things out of the way, the next step is to actually just, just go to sleep. You don't want to end up not even sleeping at all and then being totally wired or totally exhausted or just not in the right state of mind. You can make some mistakes or costly errors. It's possible you could be clicking a bit too slow. You might want to get into the queue a bit late. You might just forget about it altogether. So again, make sure you get that sleep. Very important because you'll want to feel rested and be ready to buy those tickets right away. Day of. You know when the event's going on sale. Sometimes it can be at 10 o'clock, sometimes it can be 12 o'clock, sometimes it can be 6 o'clock. It really depends. Make sure you take a look at the email you receive. It'll have all the details in there for you. So again, it's a good reference point for you to go ahead, refer back to over and over again if you are ever confused, forgot when tickets are going to go on sale. So you know when they're going on sale, you've now set your alarm. You're now going to go into the queue once that alarm goes off. You don't need to join the queue any more than 10 to 15 minutes prior to the on sale time because generally the queue won't even be open before then. If it is open before then, great. That's fantastic, wonderful, excellent. Go ahead, join the queue. However, don't feel like there's a need or a rush to get in right away because again, as long as you're in there before the queue actually begins, you will be placed randomly in line. It doesn't really matter if you got in 59 minutes before the time goes off or 59 seconds seconds before the time goes off, you're all going to have the same chance of being randomly selected and being put into the front, middle, or back. One caveat here is that if you do wait until the last possible second to join the queue, it's possible you might not actually get placed in a good spot. You might be placed right at the back because sometimes there is a two-factor authentication process that does need to be completed before getting into the queue officially. When you open up that URL, you go and try and get in line for those tickets, two things are going to happen. One, you need to sign into the same account that you applied for those tickets for. If you try and use a different account and you're trying to get in the queue, Ticketmaster will give you a pop saying, hey, this account wasn't verified. It's not a true fan. Get out of here. And then you could only continue if you sign into the correct account. So again, make sure you double check, see what account you received the code on and make sure that's the account you use to log in. 
Step number two, you may have to go through a two-factor authentication process. Make sure that you are you. What's gonna happen here, they will either send a text message to your phone number or your email address. I've been seeing now that Ticketmaster is offering an email address option. However, most of the time it is a mobile device. On the rare occasions, there's nothing at all, but you never know what you're gonna get with Ticketmaster, so you gotta be prepared for all the options. Make sure you have your phone ready with you. Make sure you have your email access ready for you. Make sure you're just ready to go, but make sure you give yourself a few extra minutes once you're trying to get the log in portion because you never know what you're going to get and you don't want to get in too late and then get stuck at the end of the line. But the next question comes up, uh, you know, you want to get in the queue. You've got all these great ideas, but uh, what device do you use? Excellent question. The device you should be using is the computer. Reason I say this is one, Ticketmaster, they highly recommend it. If you look at the email they send you, they recommend it is the best experience for you to go ahead and buy those tickets. And two, in the past, Ticketmaster wasn't even set up to actually use this program using your mobile device. Over time, this has changed. However, I still highly recommend when going through a verified fan presale to always use your computer or laptop. I find using a mobile device, it is possible that there is a lot of lag. You may still see that on the computer as well. Don't get me wrong. However, it is easier to go ahead and actually use the computer to see and to sort through everything. It can get very bogged down and slow. So using a mobile device, it's not the best, especially when you're trying to zoom into different sections. It can be a bit tedious and slow and cumbersome and all, all the bad things. Basically, if your mobile device is your only option, go ahead, use that. But if you do have the ability to use a computer or a laptop, highly, highly, highly recommend. Last thing I wanna mention is just a PSA. Do not enter the queue multiple times. Flat out, don't do it. It's not recommended. It's not a good idea. It is in fact a terrible idea. What happens when you try and enter the queue multiple times is take a mask and say, hey, this account over here tried to log in over there. So let's kick out this one. And then you log in over there and then take a mask says, hey, you're actually already in the queue over here. And then, so you try and go back to the old one and then the old queue ID is gone now and the new queue ID is gone now and now you can't join any queues and then you can't buy any tickets and life is terrible. And all you can do at that point is just wait for your queue IDs to expire, which means they have to go through the whole queue. They have to go to the end of the queue. Then you gotta wait 20 minutes for your link to expire. And then sometimes there could be errors because it saw that there were multiple queues going on. So it's trying to push off between one and the other and back and forth and it, it, don't do it. Just, just. Just don't do it. It's going to create more problems than anything else, more hassle, more technical issues, and you won't buy those tickets. And that kind of defeats the whole point of buying tickets if you can't buy the tickets. We're in the process of buying tickets, not, not buying tickets. Don't do it. Just keep the one window open. Don't try and log in multiple places. The verified fan presale is already finicky enough as it is, so don't try and make it any worse for you by opening up multiple windows. And then the one, you know, Bonus tip, if you will, is have your code on copy and paste. I know it doesn't really make much of a difference. You can see on your phone, it's like AJJ573Q2X or whatever the case may be. Having it on copy and paste, it saves you a couple seconds and it's just, it's just a convenience thing. Why would you try and make your life harder when you can just make it easier? So having it on copy and paste makes the process a little bit smoother and then go ahead and start clicking all those blue dots, get those seats and have all the fun. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions on how to actually go ahead with Ticketmaster Verified Fan pre-sales. What are some of the things that you run into that work for you? What are some of the things that don't work for you? Very curious to hear what you guys do when buying those tickets. That's all I got for today though. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Create new content coming out every single week. And see you guys next time.